This video covers troubleshooting a serial connection on a Windows PC to ensure it is working properly. First, make sure that your COM port is installed and recognized in Device Manager. Also, take note of what COM port is assigned. If you're using a USB to serial adapter, you need to ensure the drivers from the manufacturer are installed and working. After the COM port is recognized and working, you'll need to configure your terminal program to use the proper COM port number shown in Device Manager and for the following settings as pictured in these screenshots for different terminal programs. 9600 baud, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit, none for parity, and none for flow control. The integrity of the serial port and cable can be verified with a quick test by shorting the transmit and receive pins together. When looking at the end of the cable that plugs into the add train equipment, pin 1 is on the top left. The pins immediately to the right of pin 1 are pins 2 and 3, which are used for receive and transmit respectively. To perform this test, you will need to short pins 2 and 3 together. To begin the test, make sure the terminal program has been configured properly as shown in the previous screenshots. Next, make sure the cable is fully seated in the port connecting to your computer or the USB to serial adapter. Then, holding the end of the cable in your hand that you would normally plug into the add train unit, you're going to create a short circuit between pins 2 and 3 using a metal object like a screwdriver. You must ensure that only pins 2 and 3 are being connected and the link is not touching any other metal which might disrupt the completed circuit. While pins 2 and 3 are shorted together and your terminal program is configured, open, and ready to go, type on the keyboard. If the serial port and cable are working, you should see characters echoed back on the screen. This test will work with both a straight through serial cable and a null modem cable. There are a few exceptions, but most AdTrain products do not use a null modem cable on the console port. So it is important to make sure you have a straight through serial cable. 